Bruce is the host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation, which you should. And she joins us today. Tammy, uh, what do you make of this? Well, normally I would uh, tell people to be slightly suspicious when accusations seem to show yeah. up oh, I agree. When, when you've started to run for office, right? We've seen that happen or when you're nominated yes. to be a member of the Supreme Court. But in this case, these are allegations that have been going on for years. Uh, there are a number of lawsuits that have been filed over a period of years. Uh, there, there's one report that his staff actually put together a book of his most outrageous comments to people. Uh, and so this is actually like uh, the best known thing in, in some ways about him in New York. So it's it, now he denies m much of this, some of the more outrageous comments he says he doesn't remember making. Uh, but, you know, what's interesting is, is that, of course, he's running as a Democrat. Uh, and he's appealing, trying to appeal to the Democratic base. Uh, other Democrats, like Elizabeth Warren, as you've noted, now are complaining, saying he's, he must answer for this. But let, let's be honest here. Elizabeth Warren had a fire staffer uh, because of some alleged misconduct just a few months ago from her campaign. Remember, they're hiring other Democrats and people who are political in the Democratic Party. Right. Uh, but Bernie Sanders had to apologize for uh, a number of male staffers uh, having complaints against uh, them in his 2016 campaign. Uh, Kamala Harris had had some staff issues regarding sexual harassment. To say nothing of Hillary Clinton, still the ostensible leader of the party. So if Elizabeth Warren is going to complain about uh, Bloomberg, who maybe apparently is in the perfect party for himself, she needs to ask questions still of <laughs> Hillary and Bernie Sanders and the whole host of people and, and frankly even the people they're hiring at this point obviously it's about hypocrisy and Donald Trump no, but is you make to such a good I point mean, here on. I'm like I can't believe a Democrat but actually this is the party of Jeffrey Epstein it's the perfect That's party correct. That's what, look, we, we know Ronan Farrow reminded us that uh, Harvey Weinstein was effectively an, uh, an advisor to Hillary Clinton. Uh, it is Jeffrey Epstein who is, you know, trying to, you know, get everybody to, to yeah. uh, you know, to be his friend. But the reality is, is that, uh, you know, we can't have these uh, basic standards just for certain people and condemn someone like Donald Trump, who in the midst of the Democratic Party leadership, is Sir Galahad at this point, uh, and certainly, <laughs> certainly for the country, he's Sir Galahad. No, he's so my true. hero. Uh, no, and uh, it's these are the, then there's just perspective when we when we think about who's making complaints. It's like the Democrats and impeachment. It, it's like this is strange. It's we we're living in a world of mirrors where everything is the opposite of what it should be when it comes to what it's we're totally, seeing. Totally no, but you're so right about it. It's like the old cat skills joke. How's your wife compared to what? You know, yeah. you know what I mean. It's like compared to these people, it's unbelievable. Jeffrey, exactly. it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.